paper plates will be the base of my UFO. First, let's decorate it. Use any of these materials such as crayons and pipe cleaners to decorate the UFO. We will only decorate the bottom of the paper plates because we are going to tape them together later. So now I'm going to stick my pipe cleaner onto the plate. Alright, now I'm going to stick the second one. Look how pretty my UFO is. Alright, now I'm going to draw on it. I'm going to draw some stars. Then I'm going to draw some heart shapes. Drawing some circles. Once you have finished decorating it, we can move on. Now, let's pick the alien that we would like to fly in our spaceship. Once you have picked one, cut it out and make sure to keep the tab attached. I'm gonna name my alien Shifty. Now, let's stick everything together. I'm going to use tape to attach the two paper plates like this. Once you are done, you should have something like this. Now, bend the paper tab on the alien. We can use this to make the alien stand on its own. Once you have bent it, you can glue the tab and stick it to the center of the plate. Now, the final step is to glue the cup to the paper plate to finish our UFO. Use your glue and line it along the edge of the cup. Make sure it's a very thin layer of glue. Now, let's stick the cup to the plate to complete our UFO. Great job, Chipsters! What does yours look like? Step 4. Observe and analyze. Now that we have our UFO model, let's make some key observations. This alien looks like a living life form, so it must have come from an exoplanet that is in the Goldilocks zone. This alien looks very weird, so its natural habitat must be very different from ours. Do you think we are all alone in the galaxy, Chipsters? Tell me what you think next time. Until then, bye bye! Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!